would the Bears still suck if Russell Wilson joined the team? Spoiler alert, yes, they will still suck. But it is an interesting thought to think. Recently, uh, Russell Wilson said that if he was going to go anywhere because he has a no-trade clause in his contract with Seattle, not to say that he's demanding a trade, but he's saying if Seattle wants to take trade offers for him, he's only going to go to the the um, uh, four or five teams, I want to say. I think it was maybe uh, Dallas, uh, Chicago, um, New Orleans, in Oakland, I think those were the teams. Maybe I could be wrong, but I know for a fact that Dallas and Chicago was on the list. Now we're going—we're not going to talk about Dallas today or any of those other teams. But the one team that really intrigues me about that is the Chicago Bears. The Bears still suck, but it is interesting to think what this team could look like with a competent quarterback at the helm one who has won a super bowl one who is clutch one who can play big in big moments one who has seen the promised land a couple times in his career and came one bad audible away from being a two-time super bowl mvp and champion and that is russell wilson with his beautiful wife uh sierra and their brand new baby boy win wilson gotta love the alliteration and not sure how I feel about the name, but I mean, I guess he's a winner, you know, <laughs> no matter what. Even if he sucks, he's still a winner. You got to say win when you say his name because his name is win. But we ain't talking about the baby. We talking about the potential of Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson playing two times a year for the next couple years. That to me. It's something that I would sign up to see. And a lot of people might say, oh, they don't want that because the Bears might actually be a competitive team that can challenge the Packers. But I'm always of that mindset. You want to be the best, you got to beat the best. And I think one of the things that's been holding the Packers back for the past couple of years is that their division hasn't really given them much of a challenge, if you will, throughout the season so when they play other teams outside the division, like the Bucks, like Indianapolis, like the San Francisco 49ers, those tough teams, they're so used to beating up on lesser caliber. Now, the Chicago Bears have been formidable at spurts. You know what I'm saying? They won the division back in 2010. The Packers had to go into Soldier Field and beat them on their home turf to go to the Super Bowl. And there were other times when the Packers lost to the Bears and the Bears got the better of the Packers. But if you just go out through the past 15 years of Rodgers' career, even 20 years with under Brett Favre, I mean, the Packers have been kicking the Bears' ass up and down the motherfucking Midwest. Okay, so... And it's not even really close. I mean, the Packers won the damn division like eight out of the last 15 years. Some crazy shit, nine, ten out of the last 15 years. So, like, it's 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 ridiculous. And I think that's what Green Bay, Green Bay could use some more competition, man. They can use a challenge in the in the North, in the NFC North. Uh, uh, and, and Russell Wilson would immediately make this team a lot more credible, even though they still going to have – the uh the sad genius <laughs> they called him a mad genius Matt Nagy but he's more like the sad genius uh and because his offenses are just sad you know and I think they should have kicked his ass out and they should have hired Eric Bieniemy they tried the first time they tried uh with with the Kansas City Chiefs offensive coordinator Matt Nagy he was the Chiefs offensive coordinator they failed they striked out they should have went with the new one who I think has shown himself to be more competent and a more uh, more creative and just better, if you ask me. The Kansas City Chiefs have been a better team offensively since Eric bien has been there. Now, you could also say that he also has had Patrick Mahomes and this great offensive talent, but regardless, there's guys who you know don't get it done with a shit ton of talent, so I'm not going to hold it against them for that. Uh, but the Bears, I mean... What could they give up to get Russell Wilson? That's a whole nother uh, different topic. But I'm just saying the idea of Russell playing for the Bears actually kind of like, um, I don't want to say excites me, but I, I like it. 
I'm not afraid of it, and I would welcome it. It's welcoming. I welcome the Bears bringing in Russell Wilson to play for them and to help kind of make this team suck a little less because, I mean, they always going to suck. I mean, just, I'm just saying, but they could suck less, giggity, if they had Russell Wilson. I mean, and, and it, it would be good for the Packers. Iron sharpens iron, bro. Russell Wilson and, and Aaron Rodgers two times a year. <laughs> Come on, man. You tell me that's not must-see TV. I feel like both of those games will be primetime television. Usually you get one, but both of those could be a Sunday night and a Monday night or a Thursday night and a Sunday night. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that America's Game of the Week shit. I want the prime time all eyeballs on me, TV. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, simps, pimps, tricks, tr tramps, trannies, grannies, mammies, and and, and, and sammies. Uh, that, that's all for, for this for this episode of the West Pack and Sports Show. It's your boy, God Child. First up, his name. Remember, go, pack, go, and the Bears still suck. Peace. Poodle, you the goat, boy.